I'm not leaving it last minute to pack. I just um, I don't pack everything until an hour before we leave. So I always travel. And I have everything set out from the day before. And I just leave it there until, because there's always something you forget. Always something, so I figured that. Play it safe this way. That way I know I've crossed everything off a million times. It's there in front of me and I'm saying, oh, I better check this is in there or whatever. I'm covered. So today's the day, today's the day we leave. On the adventure. The old classic. Beauty sleep. I went. I was out like a light, like a light. I'm living off fumes, and I'm having my pre now. I just woke up because um, I need to go train. So I start thinking about it. I won't go train. I'm going to go to the Mecca, Tony Doherty's gym in Brunswick. Doherty's gym, the original. Um, all the pros are setting in, so um, yeah, they're probably getting in a bit early, getting an extra session in because they know I'm coming down. They want to. Need to sign some shit or something. <laughs> Gotta pump some water in. I've missed a few meals today because of the trip and everything like that, and that's why we're just starting to talk now. Because um, most of this morning I've been like a zombie. Um, Chris, my man here, has been trying to film me, and I've just been talking. I won't even say it. So. I'm, not, I'm not smart enough to think of a metaphor. Um, but yeah, I'm talking now, I'm alright, I'll go train. Then hopefully the man himself gives me some damn carbs. Alright. So this is where it's at man. This is the, the Mecca. That's where it's all going down. Um, got the Mr. Olympia over in the house over here. Turn back, Sean Roden. Just walked past Robin Winkler before. So. up on the walls you know so it's um it's cool man it's a good, good good part of the year it's kind of waking me up a little bit i'm getting some goosebumps under this shit you know so it's cool yeah same coach um, back and forth showing photos to me and I'm like man these motherfuckers are talking about me holy shit man I'm like man I'm I'm starstruck man I should just go home that's enough for me this weekend <laughs> I can't wipe the smile off my face 
Um, if you ever get around watching this, man, I tell you, like, I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm fanboying enough hard, man. Like, it's. Uh, that was a big shock. That was a big, big shock. But, you know, when you hear, you know, he's watching me and seeing my progress, my changes, and Chris is sending him photos, my coach, they're sending him back to each other, giving me critiquing, and I, I didn't even know. Man, yeah, that's. I've got to train. I've got to train. machine press, love that prime equipment, um, great piece of equipment, really change your loadings on that, um, so you can really put the weight of the peak in tractions, um, and then just finish off some chest with some flies really. So keep it pretty basic, you know, just kind of press fly, press fly, press fly, just trying to pump blood in again, like I'm on like 100 grams of carbs, so trying to get a pump is the best. We're just trying to go for the contraction, deplete the muscle a little bit more, and hopefully give me some carbs tomorrow. Tonight, I've got tonight. But yeah, I'll do some side races now. Um, just move some blood around the delts, uh, deplete them out a little bit, and then um, we're good. We're good for the workout. Yeah, look, I'm in the middle of doing consults now, online consults, so, you know, we're still hustling while we're away. Um, I've got clients to do, and one thing is I find I can't stand with coaches is, oh, I'm competing, you should be working around me, you should take some... Man, if you take on the responsibility of prepping clients, off-season, pre-season, you know, I've got clients down here for the show that I've got to see, I've got off-season and pre-contest clients back home, Across Australia, around the world, you know, I'm, I've got back-to-back -back clients now. Um, 
I won't be able to see my in-person clients. So I'm looking at about 10 to 12 uh, online consults a day while I'm down here. Um, that's including show day, Sunday, every day I'm down here. Um, so there's no real excuse. So, you know, I've still got another six to go here. I've banged out four. And, um, yeah, so I'll let you guys go for the day today. Uh, I'll sign off here. Um, I'll have a little more carbs in me for tomorrow, so I'll get a, a good workout in. Today was hard, you know, like it was really hard. Even I got the good little bump up from Sean Roden. Um, I got my little, uh, my fanboy in. Um, it was still hard, you know, you couldn't get a pump, you know, I was just, I was trying to train, but you know, it's just more of a depletion workout, so the weight itself, I had to really kind of hold back on because um, even when Mike and stuff tried to come in and push me, you just feel your tendons and everything pulling, so look, we're not going to grow at this point, it's a bit of depletion work, hopefully get a bit of carbs in tomorrow, I'll be able to shuffle some carbs around the shoulders and, and arms, so get a good pump on for you guys, and we'll train a bit earlier in the day too, because we did a lot of travelling today, um, uh, yeah, again, low carbs, so, yeah, just trying to string it all together, but you know, I've got to bang a few out now that I'm actually done for the day, you know, so I'll be well in bed by probably 10, 11 o'clock tonight, which would be good, good time, as I was going to be there later. I've got to hustle hard and get a few more meals in, because I missed a few meals during the whole travel thing, so, but other than that, yeah, good, good one, first day down, Arnold Classic week, uh, that I'm getting documented for you guys, so, um, yeah, it's only going to be bigger and better for tomorrow because I'm going to have a, I'm going to really make up for the session today. Um, again, just me with a work mentality that you know I always want to have a hard, hard session. So um, I want to get a good, good pump on tomorrow. Let's get some good equipment down at Doherty's. and then we've got the athletes meet and greet tomorrow night. So um, I've got to get all my athletes in, check-ins done before that. I've got the uh, weigh-ins with my athletes tomorrow, so I've got to check up on them as well. So, you know, things are ramping up, things are getting busy, you know, but it's keeping me busy because otherwise I'm just sitting here looking at the clock um, meal by meal, you know, so which is more taxing and kind of like a um, torturous venture because you're just sitting there just looking at the wall waiting for time to go. It goes very slow. So right now, um, yeah, I'm just trying to keep myself busy but not burn myself out, you know, so get my check-in photos in the morning, get my get my training done and uh, get the schedule done for tomorrow day by day. We're getting close, we're finally here, we're in Melbourne. So um, yeah, I'll sign off for you guys and I'll see you bright and early in the morning. Good morning. Uh, I've got a train this morning and uh, do some posing. I go on meet and greet tonight. Um, that'll be fun. That's that's the meet and greet kind of press conference kind of thing, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, big day there, you guys. Happy days. There's not much there. <laughs> Zoom in. <laughs>